The conduct of the war will remain a proud memory for all Americans. But the full history must also include events before and after the war. Their mission is to attack Iraq's nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons programs. Their purpose is to protect the national interests of the United States, and indeed the interests of people throughout the Middle East and around the world. Saddam Hussein must not be allowed to threaten his neighbors or the world with nuclear arms, poison gas, or biological weapons. The terrorists who masterminded the attack on the Achille Loro and the savage murder of American Leon Klinghoffer fled with Iraqi assistance. Other countries possess weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missiles. With Saddam, there's one big difference. He has used them. The team of terrorists who set out to blow up the Rome airport came directly from Baghdad with suitcase bombs. He was not only promoting terrorism, but was also pursuing a nuclear weapons program. And I have no doubt today that left unchecked, Saddam Hussein will use these terrible weapons. The U.S. government continued to exert every effort to channel assistance to Saddam Hussein, even with evidence that he was not only promoting terrorism, but was also pursuing a nuclear weapons program. Instead of the inspectors disarming Saddam, Saddam has disarmed the inspectors. This situation presents a clear and present danger to the stability of the Persian Gulf and the safety of people everywhere. We know that Iraq ordered the destruction of weapons-related documents in anticipation of inspection. Already at the administration's disposal of Iraqi behavior in the past regarding human rights, terrorism, the use of chemical weapons, the pursuit of advanced weapons of mass destruction. George Bush makes an heroic assumption of good behavior in the future on the basis of an interesting theory, namely, that Iraq would suddenly and completely change its ways out of a fear of economic and political sanctions. Why are you here? Heavy as they are, the cost of action must be weighed against the price of inaction. If Saddam defies the world and we fail to respond, we will face a far greater threat in the future. Saddam will strike again at his neighbors. He will make war on his own people. And mark my words, he will develop weapons of mass destruction. The hard fact is that so long as Saddam remains in power, he threatens the well-being of his people, the peace of his region, the security of the world. The best way to end that threat, once and for all, is with the new Iraqi government. He was already deeply involved in the effort to acquire nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction, and Bush knew it, but he looked the other way. Shogo-chan, Interport no shikudai de nani o benkyou shimashita wa? Ah! Kino Iraq no mo suru no heitai san wo tazunemashita. との宿題で何を勉強しましたか昨日イラクのモスルの兵隊さんを訪ねました歴史の本に出てくるような銃を持っていました私がまるでそこにいるように銃を向けました兵隊さんはそこに2100人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200人から2200